What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I just want to say special thanks to everybody out there for one a new subscribe. Hit the subscribe button by the way if you have not. And you guys buying up the merch, man. Like the merch, uh, like all these shirts are sold out. The Pro Torn sold out. I still have hats left, other t-shirts available, keychains, stickers, all that. But I do want to say a special thanks to all you guys who have bought and entered to win one of my diffusers. If you guys have not, remember, uh, still going on, still going on. Giveaway is still going on for the custom diffuser if you guys do not know about it. Uh, we're going to be ending here shortly at the end of the week probably. So if you have not entered, enter now. Every five bucks you guys spend on my website at gooseperformance.com will give you a free entry to win, I should say. Every five bucks you spend will give you an entry, I should say. So stay tuned for that. I will be announcing the winner probably on Instagram Live. So if you guys do not follow me on Instagram at SSGoose, make sure you do. But today I want to show you guys a little bit about the interior. We're working on the interior today and it's been a pain in the butt. Like we are just fighting this car every step of the way. Obviously, that's kind of what happens when you go custom. So I want to show you guys what I'm doing real quick. While we're at the back of the car, I want to show you what I had to do to get this kind of to work. So you'll get it here in a second. Um, nut insert. See the nut inserts I put there to hold the seat. Now we got the driver's rear in. You guys can see I have a bolt here and I also had to reroute the seatbelt. See, I kind of rerouted the seatbelts there and there. So that way it also actually added like extra support to that back seat. So that way when the seatbelts are in place, um, they're being routed through the back of you and not being pulled through you, if that makes any sense. So I kind of did that. I'll show you guys here in a little bit, but you guys can see that's kind of what I had to do to get that seat to bolt in there. And then I'll show you the back of the seat. Excuse my mess, guys. Now here's the back of the seat. So this is that hook you guys just saw. And then there's that one too. That one we're gonna use kind of with the factory location hook. And then down here, this one will bolt up at the bottom along with the bottom. So the bottom and the top will bolt together through here with one big bolt and wash. I'll show you guys here in a sec. Let me see if I get a better lighting in here real quick. That way you guys can see what's going on. All right, hopefully that light is a little better. Excuse the mess in here. As you can see, we are working on blood off in here. But, so that's the center bolt. Look, check this out. So I tapped and drilled this out, or I should say drilled and tapped it out. That's kind of where the stock factory location bolt was for the seat. So I drilled it out, tapped it, and then put this stud in here. This is actually a stud. I want to say they came off a block, small block Chevy. I had a few lying around, so we're going to use that to bolt the two seats together right in the middle right here so we're going to use these two washers we'll use those two along with the locking nut and then the two seats will actually meet in the middle and then we'll combine them there through the middle of this seat here it's kind of a pain in the butt to get into between here but i can get a socket and my extension through there so that'll allow us to do that but i kind of already got it covered up here but you guys see what i did is I made these slits for the seat belts to go up and over. That way it supports the seat a little bit better when you're in it too. So that way, because the seat belt bolts all the way down here, you guys can see they bolt both bolt through here and up and over. So that way when the seat belt's being pulled, it's not pulling you this way. It's pulling, it goes through it and then up above. So that way you're a lot better i think it's a lot more secure that way i might end up putting like a, a bar on the back side of it for extra support i don't know yet i don't even know if i want to keep these seats in here guys i'm kind of debating on whether just to completely take them out um i don't know yet i'm putting them in here for now that way i can drag the kids along and stuff like that but you guys tell me what you think what do you guys think does that look pretty good what you guys think put it down in the comments below is that a good idea as well have you guys done anything like this two guys you guys are putting a four-point harness in the back of a car let me know i'm not an upholstery guy by any means so also uh take this with a grain of salt guys i've never done anything like this with the custom seats so this is all new new to me but the compulsory guy did a good job reupholstering these seats now we just trying to figure out how to get them mounted 
So that's kind of what we came up with. Let me put this other seat in real quick and then we'll show you kind of how this whole back seat is going to look like. I, I'm liking it. I'm loving it actually. I think they look good. I think it's something different with the race seats in the back too. Kind of look. And I think the kids will be nice and safe. You guys let me know. But let me pull both these up real quick. We'll get this going. Hit the subscribe button, by the way. Hit the subscribe. Appreciate you guys. appreciate you all good but let's get back to these seats look at that though so we got that bolt in the back side ready to go we got the bolt in the middle down hook is in um let me throw those seat belts on real quick that way we get a nice visual and a thumbnail huh yeah buddy come on all right bring these seats up and over see belt I should say originally was gonna go with a smaller seat belt but I thought these would look good I thought these would match I like the way they look it's just me but okay something like that what y'all think, huh? I like it. Let's, let's get back. Get a better visual. My light is falling on the floor. What y'all think? I like it. I like it a lot. You know what I want to do, though? Um, I want to put maybe a fire extinguisher or something along, something like that in the middle here. Just to kind of have a, not really a center console, but just something in the middle to break it up or to have a purpose there. So I might even put one or two. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll put a NOS bottle in there, huh? Put a little nitrous up in here, though. I like it. I like it a lot, though. Looks good. Looks really good. Uh, guys, If you, I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of the video, but these are GTO seats. They're GTO seats out of like a 2004 GTO. Um, and we had them come down. We cut them down so that way they weren't a ball way up here. And I think they're going to come out good. They came out good, I should say. Came out really good. Um, but I really wish I had these seats. Like I should have mounted them up, I should say, or at least cut down, had the upholstery guy cut them down and everything and then without the frame and i can actually fabricate something to mount them a little bit better you know what i mean but i, I think they'll be fine they'll be just fine especially once the seatbelt is in there and the person is sitting in here i feel good about it i don't think we're gonna go anywhere but we got left is the roll cage we're gonna have the rest of the roll cage door panels um i'm waiting on some clips for the door panels we'll do a little install video on that show you guys a little bit about that but also, like I said, giveaway still going on. Um, probably got a few days left at the end of this week. I hope to uh, announce a winner. I'll probably do it on Instagram, maybe even on one of the YouTube videos. We'll see. But good luck to you guys, and thank you everybody who's bought some swag has entered the win now. So stay tuned for that, and keep wrenching. <laughs>